Hey everybody, on today's episode, we're going to downtown El Reno. We're gonna eat some onion burgers from SIDS, and then we're gonna go check out some Clydesdales. We'll see you there. This is the Oklahoma Road Trip. From Weatherford, the team heads east on I-40 to explore downtown El Reno. All right, so we're entering El Reno, and we're gonna check out Main Street. We're going to Ali's Boutique Bakery. You ready, Daniel? Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Ali Diaz, owner of Ali's Baking Boutique. One of our best sellers, even though it's in a tray right now, is our stuffed croissant. And then another huge hit. That looks amazing. So our cake is basically like two and a half cake pops in one. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, and it looks like you do wedding cakes. Um, we are featured with Brides of Oklahoma this past year in October, so that's wow. exciting. Yes. And so we're actually hitting a year, uh, March 7th, so. Awesome, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. We have a huge Route 66 sign here in El Reno. If you haven't stopped by and seen it, you need to. It's right here. Just look at it. It's a great town. We love the people here. We have wonderful historic architecture, roadside architecture associated with Route 66. Here in El Reno, we feel like we have the best of both worlds. Close to Oklahoma City, but here in a, in a small town life. Close to you, but far from ordinary is yeah. our tagline. No visit to El Reno would be complete without trying the town's signature food at Sid's Diner. Well, El Reno at one time was a crossroads of America, and right here at this corner is Route 66 and Highway 81. The onion burger originated in El Reno in the 30s. Things were tough back then, so they're called a depression burger. So they used the onion as a filler. Uh, at the age of 21, Dad bought his first restaurant. My grandpa Sid helping him, and that's kind of where the Sid name comes from. My dad, he's been doing this 50 years. A lot of people, they want to change things up and make things more modern, but we just stay uh, traditional. We use a, a well-seasoned flat-top grill. The hamburger meat is always hand-rolled every day. We hand-peel 100, 150 pounds of onions a day. The locals, this is what they grew up eating, and it's just generation after generation. We did get the top five burgers in America with the Food Network. We're just blessed to be recognized. Someone that's living in Oklahoma that's never been to SIDS, I would say come out and, and get away from the, the big city life and, and come back to a small town where food is still handmade. We treat you like family, we'll greet you. We want to get to know you, we want to know where you're from. This is a real burger. Get it. Wow, that was a good bite. Delightful. It just takes me home. You know? Onion burger, I had to try it. They, I mean, they're famous for it. They have a holiday now after this thing. What's the holiday called? Burger Day. <laughs> uh, my name's Marty Hall. I've cooked over five million onion fried hamburgers, which is called the Oklahoma Hamburger. See, I don't have a cell phone, but my wife shows me all these places from across the country are trying to copy our hamburgers. <laughs> Sid's Diner El Reno, come visit me. All right, so I'm using the Travel OK app for today's episode. I've got all my locations punched in, Sid's Diner, El Reno, Mother Road, Sign, and Express Clydesdales. You guys should try it out. After enjoying a delicious lunch at Sid's, the team hits the road until they reach their final stop of the day, Express Clydesdales. So we're here at the Express Clydesdales in Yukon, Oklahoma, home of the black and white Clydesdales, which are a lot more rare in the breed. Um, you've maybe seen a Clydesdale before, but probably not a black and white one. So we've got somewhere around 30 horses on the property if they're all home and not traveling. So there's plenty to see. But we're open to the public for free six days a week. So yeah, we get a lot of families that come visit us often or on a road trip and take a stop to stretch your legs and pet some horses. And so they travel all over the country. The ones we have in here are going to a lot of parades, um, rodeo events, fundraising events. They actually did the Rose Parade out in California. Topper over here once pulled Prince William and Kate at the Calgary Stampede up in Canada. So they've been on national TV before, so okay. they're famous. This is my buddy Prize right here. <gasps> Hi, Prize. He is almost five years old. 
he's kind of funny. He's got one blue eye and one brown oh, really? eye. So that's Hi. kind of something fun about him. And then he was also our first bred and born here. So we've got a fun little gift shop over here for all your favorite souvenirs. You know, you've got to have a Clydesdale t-shirt or mug. So we've got a great spot to get some souvenirs to take back on the road. That place was awesome. If you're on a road trip, even if you're just driving down the road, come to this place, Express Clydesdales. On today's road trip, the team enjoyed some of the places that make the El Reno and Yukon area so special. First, we explored downtown El Reno. The downtown area is full of shops and restaurants for visitors to enjoy, and the unique historic architecture celebrates the history of the town and its place on Route 66. Next, the team enjoyed some amazing burgers at Sid's Diner. El Reno is considered the birthplace of the fried onion burger, and Sid's Diner has been serving it up to customers for over 40 years. Finally, the team made their way to Yukon to visit Express Clydesdales. These rare black and white Clydesdales are world renowned and have marched in events like the Rose Parade and have even pulled British royalty. And the next time you're visiting Yukon or any other Oklahoma destination, remember to share your photos with us using the hashtag RoadTripOK for a chance to be featured on the show. And be sure to grab your free copy of our 2020 travel guides. Join us next time as the team heads to Woodward. We'll visit Al's Steakhouse, Covington's Customs, and we'll finish off the day at the Plains Indians and Pioneers Museum. We'll see you then.